Hey there YouTubers, Tom here from Tom's Test Kitchen and welcome to another Salsa Saturday, July the 7th, 2012. And I've got pretty a pretty special Salsa Saturday today. This is really interesting. This salsa is called the Mad Butcher's Private Blend Hot Salsa. I happened to stop into a convenience store in Cedar Park last night to pick up uh, some uh, really awesome Mexican beer called Indio because I'd heard that they had it there. They specialize in, in like hard to find beers. And there was a guy there and he was uh, giving out samples of the, the Mad Butchers salsa. So, uh, you know, I, I kept, you know, walked over to him and said, I'd like to try your salsa. Uh, matter of fact, I do a salsa review online on YouTube. He says, well, here, try it. So, I tried it, and it, it was pretty good, so I bought, I bought a jar. Uh, I don't think I've ever said it, but I don't take freebies from people to review their salsas or anything like this. Uh, I always purchase them, so it's an unbiased opinion. And as you can see, it's not my typical salsa that I like. This one's a really chunky salsa. Almost like paste, but it tastes nothing like paste. Paste always reminds me of just a glorified ketchup. But this, you know, it's got a lot of chopped jalapenos, a lot of tomato. It has really good flavor. One thing that really comes through for me is black pepper. I love I love that flavor of black pepper in a salsa. It is a little too vinegary for my taste, but that's okay. It's fine. It's definitely a really good salsa, chips and salsa thing. Uh, it's a little too chunky for like tacos or you know things like that, but it's definitely got a great flavor. It's got a really nice, nice afterburn. Uh, this is their hot, by the way. Um, I was a little, little kind of leery because it, it it's from Iowa. I'm like, well, yeah. what do they know about salsa up in Iowa, huh? This is Texas. But it's got a nice kick to it, and I believe they make. I know they make a medium, and I think they make a mild. But as far as uh, hot goes, this is this is really good. This has got a nice flavor. Uh, the ingredients are tomato puree, tomatoes, vinegar, onion, salt, sugar, green bell peppers. I always like the green bell peppers in the salsa. I, I think that really adds a nice flavor. Jalapeno peppers, spice, onions, zaffron gum, citric acid, natural flavor. Uh, definitely the spice. <clears throat> his black pepper but I, I really love that I love that in a salsa like I said um, all in all this is a this is a good salsa a little too chunky for my taste but a lot of people they you know they like the chunky salsa so that's fine it's really good There's a website here, madbutchersalsa.com. I'll post this in the, the description below so you can go through. They're trying to get it into stores. I, I guess this is new coming to this area, but they're trying to get it into various stores. So you'll probably eventually find it at HEB or some you know some of the other stores around town. So there you go. The Mad Butchers Private Blend Salsa. Later, YouTube.